Space Blast Cast. Welcome to another exciting propaganda cast. I mean, hello and welcome to AE's Blaster Cast. What you're going to be seeing here is a condensed shoutcasting format. Without further ado, in the north we've got Abdul. In the south we've got Steven. The map is longer. What I'm going to try and give you is a little bit of a more condensed format because we've got Steven going for the cutoff early on. Um, Abdul's got a lot of his forces in the east of the map, which has neglected his cutoff. Molotov's now chosen for Abdul. First one goes in the ground, even simultaneously almost, causing a big retreat there. MG setting up in the centre. Here comes Abdul for Steven's cutoff, causing the retreat of the MG in the centre. Abdul has seen that Steven has his sniper out, so he's answering it straight away with a special Rife command and an M3 on the way. Here comes the M3, see what he can do against this MG42. Trying to dodge the Faust. Really penned in here, and he had a forward position. He's just lost a, squ a sniper to the combined arms of the conscripts there. The focus fire, and the MG42 goes down. This game looks over already. It's only 10 minutes in. Panzer Grenadier is not the strongest unit in this patch. He's going to try and push out of his Kessel. Pack firing. Panzer Grenadier is in. Oh, Vet 2 Grenadiers go down! He's in a lot of bother at this point in the game. Abdul has not lost one of his units, however, he has had to full scale retreat. So Panzer Grenadier is offering some good covering fire for the pack as it tries to get away from the onslaught from Abdul. Three squads and um, the stolen MG42. 34 on the field. Dodges the S mine. Oh no, not quite. In fact, clears the S mine entirely. So forward capping here for Abdul, he's really tightening the noose on Steven at this point. MG42 in a forward position, really putting the pressure on Steven here, he's got suppressed units, retreating units. Second T34 from Abdul entering the fray, it's going to see what it can do. Focuses on the MG42, the pack is now going to open up fire, he is not behind a shot blocker there, he's in a spot of bother. First T-34 built is now going to try and flank the pack. It's wary of the Faust, though. Oh, God, and the, the second T-34 looks like it's going to go down. What a waste. What a waste from Abdul. Maybe he's getting too cocky. He did have the Flamer behind the pack trying to decrew it. It's not going to quite get it. That pack's got VET 2. Proficiency, improved rate of fire, weapon control. Shrex for the Panzer Grenadier. Perhaps both T-34s might go down. This could be the break that Steven needs to get out of his Kessel. Flame artillery on that pack, stopping him from getting it back. And he just continues to push. He's got an M5 with the quad mount, an MG42 in a forward position. Choice from Steven here, he's built a mortar. More flame artillery on the centre there. He's finally trying to get rid of this MG42. It's been a scab for Steven. Oh my god, a weapon of terror from Abdul. He's got the KV-8 flamethrower tank arriving in the east and the repaired T-34 arriving in the north. KV-8 is going straight for the jugular. It's going straight into Steven's base. Surely he's going to get some squad wipes here. We've got a Vet-2 Grenadier with only one man, but instead he's, he's wary of the pack. From Steven here, he's bringing on the Panzer Four command tank. God, we've got a Grenadier going down to the KV-8, possibly. If he escapes, he's a very lucky boy. Just about escapes, but straight away the T-34 is now attacking the Panzer IV command tank. Three Grenadiers with a flamethrower find the conscripts cowering. Surely they're going to get a squad wipe if Abdul doesn't see it in time. Heavy cavalry. We've got Vet-3 infantry all attacking at the same time. So much anti-infantry capability from Abdul here. He's got weapons of all design. Really laying in the fire here. Vet 3 Panzer Grenadiers with a pack have got to be focused by Abdul because these things are accurate. The Panzer 4 command tanks laying in the fire. Oh my god, here comes the KV 8. Nice juicy targets here. Going straight for the MG 42. Excellent by Abdul there. The M5 did just go down. KV 8's looking worse for wear. Great penetration from the pack. Here we go, Abdul's pushing again, he does not want to give Steven room to breathe, he can see that Steven's getting slightly stronger in the mid-game, having survived his terrible early game. Got a Vet 2, already Vet 2 after that M5 kill, 
more incendiary artillery straight on the pack, decreeing it in one. Telemines in defensive position. Here we go, Abdul's coming, he's flanking from the south with the KV-8, he's going to go for a killer blow on that Vet 2 pack. He's got a T-34 going for the Panzerfall command tank. Excellent push from Abdul. He's got enough um, munitions for another further into incendiary artillery barrage should he want it. T-34 hits the telemine. Excellent telemine from Steven. Here comes the incendiary artillery barrage. Here comes the heavy cavalry for Abdul. Simultaneously, Steven brings on a Panzer IV medium tank, so possibly not the best choice there. We've got the KV-8 coming for the mortar. Straight away, going over... That must have been a telemine, surely. Or perhaps... Yeah, absolutely! Incredible stuff there. We've got the Panzer IV with his first kill. Only 10 seconds of being in the game, but the IS-2 is on the battlefield, and this thing can cause some heavy damage to support crew, infantry, medium armor, heavy armor. It doesn't care. It's a lumbering beam off of the tank. Here, the IS-2 is lining up its massive cannon. It's a good rear armor shot in the Panzer IV. Well, the T-34 is showing its rear armor in turn, and we've got a... Stug 3 built for Steven, this Vet 3 T-34, instant casualty from the pack, that gets the closing kill, and the IS-2 has got its rear armor showing. Terrible foray into battle from Abdul there. He showed his cards at the exact wrong time, and Steven had the flush. Abdul only had the straight. Well, here we go, Abdul's already trying to get some vengeance, and he does. He's now got to try and get away from the line of sight of that pack. Tries to get behind the shot block. Oh, and the Panzer IV command tank tracks down the T-34 and gets the finishing kill. Sneaky, sneaky. Here we go, we've got more pushing from Abdul. He's got his incendiary artillery targeted again on the pack. Great juicy target. It's got Vet 3. Perhaps not the best spread though. Maybe Steven can reverse out of there. He does not, and he loses the veterancy. Medium armor macro here. And he must have gotten yet another fail stop on the IS-2 because it's once again has had its engine sorely damaged. Here we go. Shock's gonna try and push off the Vet 3 Grenadiers with a Rock 9 flamethrower. Instead going for the cutoff, and Steven once again. Seems to be in a lot stronger position with his packs. He keeps remanning them. He needs the central VP so much he's put an S mine there. Abdul's pushing with minesweepers, but having lost two of his three original conscripts and possibly more, he's got a real weakened infantry base at this point. But instead, he's gone for the mighty IS-2, which crunches onto the battlefield. So he's got one in the west, one in the east. He's, he could possibly push if he takes out the medium armor. Steven, however, is capping the centre. We've had the IS-2 yet again have its engine damaged for a third time. That's a very good tactic from Steven. You can negate heavy tanks if they can't move to attack you. Oh my god, great first penetration from the second IS-2 build. And all of a sudden, Andal's in a strong position. Here comes the second IS-2. Oh, he does not need these shocks to die. He needs every infantry he can get at this point. He needs to cap, cap, cap. Great shot from Stug. Oh my god, he goes over a Talamine. Second IS-2 could go down. He needs to chase it. Yeah, here we go. He's going to get line of sight with the Panzer IV command tank, even with only having 40% of its health. For the Vet 2 pack, possibly. Here we go. He's, he's going to line up the shot. Thinks better of it. He knows one shot from the IS-2 could destroy that Panzer IV at this point. No, he's going to go for it, seemingly. Really needs to kill on that IS-2. Doesn't quite know where it's situated though. IS-2 couldn't quite line up the shot. Oh! He could finally kill the Vet-3! No, it gets away. The MG-42 gets away. Really nice to see Steven kill that because who? nobody likes larceny. Oh! A bounce shot on the IS-2. Another bounce shot. Really difficult to kill. Oh, and Abdul foolishly loses his combat engineers that were chasing after the IS-2 in their weakened state. If they are in the... Uh, oh, God. Just as it's get Vet-3. The command tank. The first armor built for Steven in this game finally goes down. And it's really weak that Abdul has his IS-2 with such low health at this point. 
just needs one lucky penetration. Abdul's asking how his second IS-2 got any engine damage. He didn't see it, and we got the Panzer IV, got the winning shot. Oh my god, excellent from the Grenadiers there. Just cat caught it. It was a rifle made from these Vet 3 Grenadiers game. Here we go, incendiary artillery. Will it work in the late game as well as it was working in the early and mid? No, Steven gets away, he sees the flares for once. Oh, the pack, the stolen pack nearly destroying that. Stug 3, IS-2 fully repaired. Going to decrease the pack instantly. Steven's got a very competent force here. Interestingly, yes, Abdul now does have the munition, the resources rather, for his second IS-2, which lumbers onto the battlefield. All mates in the east here. Here we go, the second IS-2. They're going to make its presence known. Not the greatest first attack ever. Oh, unfortunate for Abdul. There we go. We got vets. Three pack now having got the fatal blow on the second IS-2. Here we go. East is finally boiling over. We've got Vet 3, IS-2 getting focus fired. We've got a rebuilt Panzer IV command tank offering better capabilities for Steven's medium armor. Oh my god, the IS-2's had its crew shocks. It's in an immense amount of peril here. And the ad and Steven stampeding straight against the IS-2. The Panzer IV command tank's been focus fired by the IS-2, but the IS-2 itself seems to be going down. There we go, the Panzer IV command tank's down. Both Panzer IVs trying the time to kite the IS-2. Another great shot there from the Vet III Panzer IV. Second piece of armor built for Steven. It's been alive for at least half an hour now. Half an hour is a long life expectancy for a medium armor crew in this particular conflict. Steven's going for the killing blow, he does not care about anti-tank grenades, it's turrets pointing the wrong way, that is unfortunate, but here we go, rear armor showing, gets the winning blow, and Steven all the while has been pushing the second then, well probably the fourth built Panzer IV in tow, focusing on Abdul's retreated squad, it does not matter one anti-tank grenade because GG has been called, and we have a victor, all the way from a retreated position. I think Steven had two or three territory sectors and they were all next to his base. He just literally had this amount of the map. He's all gone from that to winning. Thank you for watching. That was a fantastic game and what I want to see is many more to come. Send me your replays to redditco at gmail.com. Include a written order of what you think are the most vital and interesting and pivotal moments of that game. You know, just five or six things you remember from the game and possibly, if you're feeling generous, timestamps. And I'll do my best to edit it and present it in a nice digestible format so people get to see your game. Thank you for watching and goodbye.